I twisted my knee a couple of days ago. I'm not going to code. I'm feeling like I'm And uh, I don't, wait, I don't believe we've met. We've not met. Uh, Wade Davis, same as Brad. Nice to meet you. This is Jeff uh, Harrison. Myself. Jeff is our chief designer. So I thought I'd just uh, tell you a little bit about where we're coming from. You know, when the bad app was first uh, invented about, what was it, about five, six years ago now, there was a big splash about it. Everyone was very excited about it because it was such a great system, real, you know, photographs. And and then it went through some changes. It got sold uh, from the guy who invented it to uh, Fellers, and then Fellers didn't really do anything with it, and they sold it to SAI, and SAI didn't do anything with it. And basically, people lost a lot of trust in, in the ability of the company to produce templates. I mean, these great templates. Well, where's the, where's the template for the new Ford Focus or the new whatever? And they, it just wasn't there. So people started using other things, and rightly so. Um, we bought into the company uh, about uh, three and a half years ago, and about a year ago we bought out the company entirely. So we now own the, the company 100%, and I just want to give everybody here an assurance that the bad rep is here to stay. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, templates are updated weekly. So every week, Jeff and his design team are just doing nothing but updating templates all day, every day. So you'll be getting the latest the latest, the latest, the latest all the time. And if for some reason that template is not available, we can custom make that for you. Okay, so I'm not the technical guy, I'm just the I'm just the kind of business guy and the and the CEO and the chief janitor. And I have to say, you know, just apart from the bad rep, I have to say, Wade and, and Gary, I'm so impressed with the fact that you guys don't just teach the physical part of it. You're teaching the, the business end of the of, of the and without that really it doesn't matter how good you are. It really doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't have the business end of it, and you don't charge the right prices, and don't get things like deposits, like Wade saying, you're going to fail. So I think this is this is almost more important than than well, at least equally important. So yeah, that's 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 who we are. And uh, Jeff, uh, are you able to get into it right away, or uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll you want to take a five-minute five break five so minute we break. can get it all set up. Sure. If you guys don't mind. Take a quick break and then we'll get started with Jeff with uh, our, the IT guys here so he can help them get all coordinated. Oh, yes. Uh, it might be a. Uh, sound like a really uh, yeah, oh, well, it's it's What do you mean by bills, Preckman's? The PowerPoint uh, there. Give you some. Uh, it uh, it might, might be. Uh, they have the template on bills as well. We're switching over to our bat wraps with the software. We're taking a five minute break because they got to record and everything. Oh, there's cold ones on the screen. Yeah, they're all cold. Thank you. Unless you want to warm it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they're all cold. Right. Super, super speedy. Okay. And if we need to, we can do it later. Again. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, he's also drafting. Yeah, he just switched over to HDMI and it was ready. We can go ahead and grab the template. Right. You can kind of go into these. This is fill. 10. And simply pull the template up, pull the fill in, put the logo on there, and get some direction on this idea. 14-ish. Cuts down. Oh, exactly. And that goes with this one? No, this is the vehicle wrapping. This oh. is similar to the class here. It's just getting okay. more okay. this, yeah. So this comes with the software? They're going to tell you what they offer with this. I think this comes with it, but let them go through their... Okay. Their, um, you got me all
since they have one there, actually. Mm -hmm. You get lots of food before lunch hits here. Is it going to be in the next couple of days? Yeah. I've got uh, our LED guy here uh, that uh, will probably see my mom and say hi and show him a couple of the products that he's out. So, okay. Yeah. drinks? Yep, nice and cold, thank you. Really?
everyone been in business? How long have you been? Uh, it's first year. First year? Yeah. Good. How about you? Uh, all of our companies been like about yeah. Yeah. 17 years? All of us have created business. That's all I got. How about you? Can you hold us out? I'm sorry. I was talking to my shop. Okay, thank you. Six years for different companies. Okay. Okay. And how long have you reps? Uh, just here within the last two to three months. Okay. So how long have you been doing the reps? Uh, two or three, three months. months. Two or three months. Wait. Yeah. Okay. We did have a guy that worked with us, so I really liked your product. So. Okay. Cool. What's you, the question? How long have you been doing reps? Um, the right way or the wrong way? There's <laughs> <laughs> two both. I don't think I've done one the right way yet. In the wrong way? Mm. Seven years. Seven years, okay. So the company I'm with has been around for about 10 years ago, but about five or so years ago they split. And so for the last five years they haven't done any car wraps. But I don't know how long they did before or whatever. Uh, I've been wrapped for about a year and a half. Company I work for has been doing about eight years. Eight years. Company for 25. And yourself? Uh, I haven't really had any experience with Okay. And how about you? Uh, no experience. Okay. And how about you? No. No experience. Okay. Great. That's a, that gives a good time. Okay. So what, uh, Jeff, would you start to start with before he actually gets into the nitty gritty of how, you know, the layers work, etc. in Photoshop, is just show you very quickly how, you know, the bad rap, this, this is our website. It's a very, very simple straightforward website and you know you can just you can get whatever you want here why don't you go try, try, choose a vehicle who wants to choose a vehicle whatever whatever vehicle you want dodge ram dodge ram okay let me say go click on vehicle templates here okay wait for the wi-fi wait for the wi-fi <laughs> <laughs> and there are all the brands <clears throat> click on dodge i'm just going to give you a choice of what do you want? Trucks, you want trucks? So you go on the website itself and downloading a template? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah, click, all on, this. You click on there and which one would you like? 1500. How far back does it go? How many years? Our photography library goes back to 2000. So okay, but as I said, we can make custom templates for you if you want to do you know something. You want to 2009. So when you now when you for instance, you buy your software. It doesn't uh, come with all the templates, or uh, we'll show you that. In okay. Second. Okay. So, so uh, QuadCAD, okay, QuadCAD short bit, and there it is. Okay. So let's just click on any one of them. Click on the top one there, and you can see they're individually they're twenty nine ninety nine. Okay. So if you click on that, there are the four views that you're going to get, or the five views rather, sides, both sides, back, front, and top. And when you slide on there, you can see, you know, you get, you get a little bit of a bigger view of what it, what it is you're looking at. Okay? So that's, that's the simple, real, real short, you know, quick, that's how you, that's how you get it. Are they at 100% size? They're at a tenth scale. Okay. It's real easy. Just move the decimal point over. Yeah. One tenth scale. And then, of course, if, you know, if you, that's the way to try it out if you want. And if you want to, if you want to get a package, then the packages are available one and two year packages. Yeah, this is a la carte. If you're doing enough wraps to make it worth your while, you can get. Oh. There's a one year and a two year package. So what do you need? Oh, I get with the custom ones. Should those yeah. range ranging prices yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. they might sell. Yes, they range in price. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, anything from what about sixty five to. Yeah, cars, trucks, and vans, as long as it doesn't have a bunch of graphics already on it when you take the pictures, um, it's $65. Um, box trucks are 95 and specialty vehicles, yeah, and um, yeah, heavy, heavy machinery and whatnot is 105 which is a pretty good price, really. I mean, we try and not encourage too much of that because we like to work on our own stuff. But, um, but so yeah, it's a it's a it, an option that's available for our customers. With um, the uh, custom template, do those not get on the site after you finish? No. Okay. Sure. But if you, I mean, you can go to the contact us here, and um, 
you can either call us or you can send in an email request and uh, say, I want to do this, I don't see it on your site. And we'll get back to you and say, either we've already done that for another customer, we'll sell you that template for $29.99, keep in mind it was another customer's photos and measurements, or we will um, work out doing it with you. Okay, so um, that, that's basically, you know, that, it's a very, very simple but uh, effective website. Okay, so maybe, are there any other questions about the website before maybe Jeff can how, how it's actually used and applied? So do you guys, can you request cars too? From you, yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, if you don't see it on the website, just go to the, were you asking the question? Yeah, no, me. Cool. So, yeah, you can, um, yeah, you can go to the contact us section of the website and it has a little form where you can put make model year and or you can just email us and say I'm looking for this, I don't see it. And if it's something that we have talked before that we just haven't made yet, then it goes on the top of the list for production. Oh, very if not, then it'll be a custom template option. Okay. These have templates for boats? We have a few. It's not really what we do. but. Um, but we've made customs for boats. Might want to sell them your inventory. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah. This folder right here on the little hard drive I brought shows um, yeah. the customs that we that we've done. There's um, some interesting ones in here. Also, you have templates on motorcycles too. We try to discourage that. But, um, <laughs> big round surfaces are hard to do accurate. Um, you know, you have to actually know what what is going on there. And motorcycles are pain, but I I did a couple of them. I see. Yeah, we've done a few. Not. We make them as accurate as possible. But you know, the the person doing the design work has to know. Okay, this is a big old bowl and it's this big, so much of it is visible from the side, right. you know, right. there's more work than just the simple for motorcycles. Uh, apply to snowmobiles and ATVs and stuff like that too? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so why don't you go through, Jeff, and show maybe uh, how, you know, how it's, uh, how to actually use them and, uh... Okay, we brought a few examples with us that are um, actual real jobs that have been wrapped. Now this is what the the template looks like. It you know it's an actual photograph at tenth scale. And in Photoshop you can use the ruler tool, measure this door across a nice flat surface. Let me see if I can find the info area here. That says thirty-nine inches, three point nine three. So you just move the decimal point over one and you know how big that door graphic used to be. Um, that design layers at the bottom, anything in between that and the template layers will show up directly on the vehicle. You can just do a color fill. You can drag and drop from um, drag and drop from Illustrator. Let's get into this art here. <coughs> so you can see this is all just bits and pieces and you can move them around as and you can see everything is pre-masked. I can turn off the template layers for you. And this is the actual art. So you can just design right on the template, figure out where you want to cut, and um, just hide the template layers, crop out your art, and send that to your rip. 
How accurate are those templates? They're built to they're built to spec. I can add a couple of layers here. And you can tell that this was um, rotated and flipped. That there's the, the wheelbase, there's the the height. And um, all of them are run side to side. You know, whenever we do all the views, we make sure they all line up to each other. And um, we have tons of customers that use them every day. The customers that, yeah, another one of um, Malcolm's businesses supplied these um, these wrap design for you. And you know, the beautiful thing about these is, you know, when you're showing these to your customer, instead of just looking at the art, they're looking at the art on their vehicle. And they can really visualize what it looks like. And it also helps you too when you're um, when you're looking at this, you can see the the shape of the body and you can see if there's a weird curvature on there that you're gonna need to add a little bleed. Because the true photo is not lights. Yeah. But the other kind of neat thing is that, you know, from a professional presentation point of view to your client, one of the things you can do is you can take, you know, that the brand out there where smart dress, you can take that out and put your own put your own uh, where where's that part, Jeff? Just to choose the logo right there. Is the logo on and off? I believe that is a, yeah, these are not the way that they come from from the website. From the website, okay. When, um, when you get a template from the website, on the upper left-hand corner it says the bad wrap instead of smart wrap. Mm. And it's just a, temp, a template layer on the very top of the stack that says your logo here. So you can just throw hours, hours off, throw your own branding on there. Another nice... Um, feature that you can see on these designs is just um, good good tips and tricks for design that you can get away with it. It's nice to have whenever you're crossing a seam like the the edge here, you know, to have a consistent color and have, you know, you can run into the lights. You can have a, a pattern that's broken up to where you don't have to be you know, spending all day trying to make sure everything is going to line up perfect with, you know, like doing the Union Jack across a beetle or something. You know, any any little tips and tricks you can do to save yourself work. Well, not only in the design side, but in the installation side. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. We, we, we talk about that as well. Because, you know, it's a nice consistent design going across from the side to the back, but it's also designed to be easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, just a side note from what Wade and I have seen, you know, in the last four or five years again, is uh, sort of a a recorrection, I guess, might be the best way. You know, for three or four years ago, everyone thought they had the bees all kaleidoscopic and crazy, and we're putting all this stuff, and people started realizing that. The message wasn't getting across with the, some of these designs that were coming out. They look cool, but as far as an advertising, advertising purpose, they weren't achieving the results. You know, we've talked about this before. Can you go back to that, Jeff? One, 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 two, the, that hand. That hand. Uh, I'm going to emphasize the, the point that you were trying to make on that. Um, uh, what Gary was trying to say as well, <clears throat> when you get to transitions from side to rear and rear to hood you need to make sure that you're generic there so you notice how the stripes on that layout from the side went into the tail light and then on the back it picked up on the other side of the tail light if you try to go around the transition of that corner with the stripes up higher you'd never get them to line up it'd be almost impossible so generically <coughs> You see how they've done the light blue up top where it wraps around the corner and then the stripes go into the light. Below that is blue. That's eye pleasing as well. And that's, a, that's the proper way to do a design on a vehicle like that. Especially if it's going to wrap around. 
And too many times I see people trying to do a background on a side and the, the <coughs> rear background is totally different and when they meet at the corner it's just a hard line that splits the two images together and it's no pun here, it's an ugly wrap. Not a bad wrap, but it's an ugly wrap. It's just what we refer to as not very pleasing to the eye. Yeah. So, and um, you can also see here that this front area here and the fender and down to this, none of this is wrapped. This is um, saving the customer money, but it still looks like part of the design. This is um, cut along here. And um, you know, you don't have to, you know, if you can get away with it, don't wrap the bumpers. You know, if the vehicle has white painted bumpers, if you can incorporate that white into your design, it's going to save you a lot of hassle and save your customer money and labor also. It's going to save you money. This would be a we're reference of a partial wrap. Um, say the client didn't have a budget for $5,000 and you had vehicles like this, and you needed to be in a certain level, don't let them walk out the door. Just say, look, I can be pretty creative with a partial wrap and be, you know, close to what you're looking for in your budget right. by doing it like this, right. having a half paint and half half wrap, and, and be creative with it. That's just like he said. This the white almost looked like this incorporated in the graphic, mm -hmm. like it's a full wrap. I'll show you a quick. Now that's one image, so why don't we be okay if you want to print out a 30 inch roll? How do you do that? Well, you um, in Photoshop, you can take your um, rectangle tool or whatever it's called, marquee tool, and set it to 30 inches. And you set it on there and you try and find where you can overlap seams and whatnot to where I mean, ideally, you probably want to have at least 54-inch film to not show any seams. Right, right. But um, yeah, I mean, but yeah, you're gonna, depending on the size of your printer, you're gonna try and. Yeah, I was gonna say just buy a 54. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah, make a um, make a panel that's the size that you can print. Figure out the most advantageous place to print those strips and where your overlaps are gonna be least conspicuous. I just can't yeah. tell me. Yeah. Do you have? Is there an option in here, in in tiling that or setting up, taking that graphic and creating, you know, the print values to it? Your grip software should do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we recommend doing it in Photoshop. You can do it in your grip as well, but in Photoshop you have more control. Yeah. And, um, well, especially if you want to put some bleed out, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, this is just an example of a a custom box truck that we did. Not thrift, but epic thrift. You can't see the sweet little star fading in from the background there. Nice little one again. Yeah, uh, just on design wise, you know, I think uh, who, who alluded to it was Gary away. Somebody alluded to the fact that <coughs> you can have reps out there that that drive by that people say, wow, whoa, look at that, you know, what was that? And, and, and they noticed it, but they didn't remember it. Yeah. So it's not what gets noticed, it is what gets remembered. So design-wise, you know, simple is, is always there. You know, that is going to get remembered. And yeah, you know, that's where I was going to finish is you guys don't have to worry about getting too crazy on some of this design stuff. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the class people are interested in your fills as well. Are you going to show them some of that? We didn't bring the fills this time. Did not. Uh, we, no. But, uh, we, we have a book. Book. We have a book here. Yeah. 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 And you guys, I mentioned the book. Um, so then, so Malcolm, explain it to the digital imaging with Taylor. Digital. Taylor, did we work with Taylor Digital? So that's who you're working they, with. Yeah, they're a, they're a crowd out of uh, out of New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, Dorsey Taylor is the guy. And uh, they just, uh, they do it, just literally they've got, I think it's something like 15,000 fills. It's just a huge, huge number of fills. So for, 
folks that are just starting off in design, that you don't have a full-time designer yet, but you want your, your rep to look, you know, professional, there are films that you can that you can buy that that you can use as the background. Uh, just a, an incredible choice of films. So I've got one of the suites here, the book, if you guys want to take time to look at this in breaks, or I'll have it over at the thing too, if you guys want to take a look. It's, it's actually pretty comprehensive. There's some really, really, he's got what he calls wraps uh, as far as half <coughs> and fills and, you know, <coughs> And go on and on. Where do we get one of those books? From Taylor Digital. Yeah, that's where you have to work with Taylor Digital. Okay. TaylorDigital.ca is their website. You can also look at the libraries there. Yeah. But yeah, this is an example. I'll show you a couple, <coughs> couple features here. Um, this is um, there's actual. Um, Window perf layer here. <coughs> I'm not sure exactly. That will get changed. Yeah, like I said, these have been worked on by designers since we touched them. Right. But um, you have the option of showing the perf or not. If you're wanting to design on, if you're wanting to design on the glass, or you want to leave it. You have that option with these templates. You can just turn on the glass. Um, but let's see. Just not here. The designers aren't here. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 but you have to Of the folks here. Yeah. But you can see here, this is a 60 inch box. So you can. Um, you can actually turn off. The designs, and you can say, now this panel ends right here. This panel ends right here. On a lot of vehicles, you're going to have to look at the front and the back also, because that panel isn't just going to be the side. You're going to look at the front, and it'll wrap around. And you can measure on the front, measure on the rear, how much that same panel wraps around, so your vinyl is seamless. That is something that we will be adding to the website as, a, as an option uh, in the not very distant future at all. There's a, there's a area calculator. So you can look at the vehicle and say, well, how, you know, what's, this, what's the square footage on this vehicle? So for your salespeople, that would be a really useful tool. So if you're going to print out this side here, you can just turn off the template. Here's your art. Make a selection off of that rectangle I just made, crop it out, and that's your print file for that side view. Yeah. <coughs> Feel free to ask any questions as you go along, guys. Yeah, I say, Wade, do you have any questions? Yeah. Uh, does it look, it looks a lot different to me. Do you offer any, any tech support? Yes, absolutely, Jeff. And yeah, we're a design walkthrough for, for designers. Sure. I mean, we we don't like teach Photoshop classes or anything. Right. But if you have technical questions or looking for hints, you can call us up. You can email us, and we get back to you right away. Yeah. One of 
the um, the trickier things on photographic templates is if you have a a vehicle like this, this isn't a super harsh example of it, but see how it has a big curve on the back? There's um, perspective and foreshortening you have to deal with. So if you are um, trying to do our rear window here, this height is going to be a little shy. So if you look at where where that glass hits here, and look at the side view, you can measure it on this side. And take that number and make sure you have enough lead. And also, sometimes it's a good idea to look at the top view and kind of step by step measure across here. On this one, you can't see the glass because of the fin, but you can tell where it is. And just to make sure you have the width. If it's a nice flat back like a van, you don't have to worry about it. But if it's like a Fiat or something that's got a big curve on it, sometimes you have to look at it like a puzzle. And um, so, do you have like an FAQ area on there to address that, or is that something they would? Be we have of? we have um, tutorials on the website. We actually have a tutorial about rear windows on the website. Oh, okay. Okay. In other words, the information is there. They can add, they can access. That's yeah. really good. And if you have questions, you know, you're not sure about something, you can call us and we can we can give you tips and tricks over the phone. So with it being um, one tenth the size, would you say working in vectors is probably better? You can work in, you can drag and drop vectors on here. I mean, if you're going to use photographs, if you're going to use something like that, just make sure it's big. Right. Make sure it looks good at, at full size. Okay. You know, you can take it in Photoshop and get it to scale and take a look at it, print out a little swatch, say, yeah, that looks terrible, or that looks just fine at this distance, you know? Okay. So for Wade's and my future reference, and obviously for their benefit here, if somebody bought, somebody comes to me and says, yeah, we bought bad wraps back in, you know, 2011. What's, you know, what, what have they updated stuff? Am I access, to able to access that to upgrade the software I have? You know where I'm getting at is yes. The upgrade is what's it 425? It's uh, I believe it's 460 something. It's what it is is if you call us and you say I used to have the bad wrap, but um, haven't used it in a while and I don't right. have an account on your website. Right. If you want a subscription, we give you 33 percent off, and that's continual. Okay. Like if you want to renew. If you want to renew right now, you get 33% off of the 699, okay. and you can do that again in, in a year, right. or you can say, "I have what I need for now. I'll buy individuals for yeah. six months and renew later." So, what are, what am I getting if I renew? Because I think is the question I'm going to get out there. Uh, you just have, if you have a subscription, you have access to everything on oh, the website. Access to all the upgrades yeah. since then, all the work yeah. that you guys done since you bought it. Because yeah. you guys are really just as SAI, you guys, right. and before that, nothing was really being done. Yeah, yeah every template that we have that's um, factory photos is online. and So it is a true value that I'm buying. Then. Absolutely. And, yeah, yeah. and, and okay. not, only, not only will you be getting, like, from 2000 up to when you buy, yeah. but everything from when you buy it for the next year. Yeah, yeah, right. No, that's a good point. That's why I wanted to know, because that's if there's any question that I get is, that's probably the biggest one. Yeah. I bought it, I don't use it, you know, I didn't keep up the subscription. Right. Right. You know, it wasn't good. The, right. You know, Wade gets a lot where the sizing was never right on. They had issues with a lot of the sizing stuff. But you guys have completely redone all that, huh? Yes. We, when, when was the last time you had an issue with sizing that you can remember? Uh, someone bought the wrong bed length for their pickup. Oh, well, yeah, that would cause it. That would cause it. Yeah. But when you bought it three years ago, that's when you guys started the yes. updating yes. and uh, yes. correcting all the issues. Absolutely. There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's actually very good news. You guys have put a lot of time and effort in. We very rarely hear anything about people having problems with the templates. When we do, we double check it and we either explain to them, you know, proper techniques for using the templates mm -hmm. 
or if there actually is an issue with it, we adjust it right away. And that's extremely rare. Okay. I think the biggest thing with, you know, with, if, if I can just kind of add one small point with, it. with, with, with this product now, it's, it's owned by people that are, that have, uh, let's just say, a, a business, business ethic that says we're, we will do what we say we're going to do. It's a good way to put it, though. Yeah. It's a good way to put it. That was probably the biggest issue, right? Way, don't you think? That they were yeah, sort they were, of they selling were, something yeah. they really didn't have before. Yeah, they ever sold the product. They, yeah. They, it, at, at the very beginning of, of this company, <clears throat> they were guaranteeing that it was accurate to a certain point and come to find out, you know, through the history of it that it wasn't as accurate as they said it was. And I think that was their downfall and that is people were a little discouraged with it. Yeah. You know, on the, on the tolerances. Yeah. Yeah. We you know we, we, we heard so much of that, you know, when we first got it and we, we actually toyed with the idea of, of, of changing the name altogether, you know, into the good rep or something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. we thought, well, the brand name is known. Maybe we should just, uh, you know, let's stick with it. And, and take uh, whatever value out of it that you can get. Yes, and just do what we say we're going to do. Yeah. 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 Cool. Anybody got any questions or anything? Anybody need any part of it to be demoed? Anybody interested in seeing a certain part of here? Don't be shy. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an example, I think, of, of uh, I think, effective design. Uh, because there's some interest behind the actual, you know, there's, 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 there's interest here in the, in the design of the background. Right. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the logo is huge. You can't miss that. You know, it's, it's a, this is a moving billboard, guys. It's a, it's a moving billboard. It's not a stationary billboard. So they've got five seconds, you know, at, at most. Yeah. to recall who it is. So the, the brand name better be huge. And, and I personally, my, my own personal thing, I think you have an icon associated with the brand name is always a good idea. It helps the memorability of it. Well, I think that's quite an effective design. So um, we've got a little small gift for you guys. With you. Well, I guarantee you they love gifts. Yeah. So you're just going to hand these around. Both sides. <coughs> if you don't use them, give them to your designer. The Krispies? You can use them as a Krispie, not very effectively, but <laughs> <laughs> they don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, if there's no further questions or anything, then yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for the invite. And uh, wait, good to meet you. Yeah. And good to meet all of you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, Jeff is available at any time to answer. Yeah, they're going to be here. They'll go with us over to the vehicle because they want to see that sort of aspect of our class as well. Uh, so they'll be around there. So if you guys want to get them off to the side and ask any questions with them, that's great. And also, this is a sneak peek. That a new product we'll be adding before Q1. Ooh. Oh, okay. This, this is it. All right. Cool. This now, did, is, you get, um, did you clear that with Malcolm first? <laughs> <laughs> Even Malcolm's surprised. Oh, yeah, you can go find what kind of vehicle you're looking for, and each area there is an estimated square footage, and you can take the pieces that you need and add up, add up the math, and your salesperson can do a quick quote. Not by square foot, though. <laughs> it would be nice to have like the uh, complexity of the vehicle in there or something. You could, well, you could you know, find your cost in this. For sure. Yeah. Well, what that will help you with is my first, again, you know, for your raw material sources, but even yeah. for a solid color wrap, yeah. that's going to be really helpful. Because you're going to do that more in pieces in a segment of a vehicle than you will do a, a graphic wrap, right? It'll help you get a, a quick it's idea of how much vinyl you're going to use. Yeah. The Rapulator, coming soon. Thank you guys.